Welcome back. In this particular video, we are going to discuss how can we install any package or library in Python using pip that is pip command. And with this, we will also try to understand or resolve some common issues generally we use or we face while installing any package or library and also while using pip command. The agenda for this particular video tutorial are as you can see in your screen right now obviously how can we install you know different packages or libraries in python that is there apart from this we will also try to understand how can we resolve a common problem which we generally face while using this pip command that is basically pip is recognized as internal or external command after this we will try to understand or try to see how can we upgrade pip command if suppose we have pip of older version and also we will finally try to see how can we install different packages like py mysql pandas so by installing all these different packages we will come to know that you know how can we install any package or any library in python because the process is almost same for all of the packages or library we want to install Namaste everyone this is Sanjay and welcome back to my YouTube channel Tech Tip Now चलिए सीखते हैं और सीखने के साथ साथ समझते भी हैं but before that I would like to request you that please subscribe my channel if you haven't yet and if you really like this video or you find it useful for you then please don't forget to like and share it as well so first of all let's try to understand what are the basic steps we need to follow while installing any package or library in python is that first of all you must know about the location of the python installation it means that whenever you are going to install any package or library in python you must know about the exact location or you can say the path of the python installation i mean i'm talking about the folder of the python where all the libraries are installed and once you are located with the python folder you open your command prompt in short we can say i'm talking about cmd and it can be opened obviously by clicking on start button and from there you just go to run and just type this cmd your command prompt will be opened once you are opened with your command prompt there you just have to set your python path let's suppose if you have your python folder in say for example c drive so you have to ensure that in command prompt you are residing inside this python folder although this is not correct way but in short i am telling you and once you are located with your python folder in say command prompt then you can use simply this pip command for installing any package so these are some basic steps as i said first you locate the python folder where the things needs to be installed then you just open your command prompt there also you locate your python folder obviously by using cd command which i am going to tell you practically and then use this pip command for installing any say package or library during this whole process we will also try to understand how can we upgrade our pip command and suppose if your pip is not recognized by your command prompt or you can say it is not supported by your command prompt then how can we resolve this issue in the sense how can we execute this pip command so let's talk about all these things step by step practically well so first of all what i do i try to find the exact location or you can say the path of my python installation in my computer system the reason it quite simple because whenever we want to install any say site package or you can say the package or library in python it has to be stored in the basic python folder so it becomes very important to know the exact location of python folder so what i do i try to find the location of obviously my python installations and as you can see in your screen right now i have opened this window explorer obviously you can open it from just by double clicking on my computer icon or from start button so right now you can see this is my c drive so i click on this c drive why c drive i am choosing because most of the time whenever we install any say package or any software usually it takes place in c drive and because my python is also installed in c drive so i go to the c drive and when you are locating your python folder you must ensure that or make sure that the hidden file folder wala option should be selected because if say you are set with this don't show hidden file folder so you won't be able to find the path so make sure that this show hidden file folder and drives option is selected then just click on apply and okay and then just you search for your python location so i am in c drive then i go to this user and it's not you know mandatory that or you can say the compulsory the path which i have in my computer system would be same as with you because it might be possible that you would have installed python in maybe different folder 
so most of the time what happens you know python is installed in the path which i am selecting right now say i go to the c drive then i go to this user then i go to this user option and then i select this app data inside this app this is local and in this local you can see this program option and now you can find this python so when i click on this python again one folder is there so this is my final destination python 37-32 so when i click on this here is my python installation right so i got this uh, complete location of my python installation so now what i do i just try to copy this complete location this is here i take it i control c and temporarily i paste it in my word so that when i open it in say dos prompt when i locate this installation in dos prompt it will help me so now my first part is done i just got the location and now what i do i open my command prompt obviously you can open it from your start menu because it is here or you can just type this cmd in this run command it will be opened now you can see by default it is in user folder although you see here the location of this python this is already c user user so what i can do is i can simply take this cd then app data then backslash the complete path i am taking here so you can see i am ready with my complete path i just press enter so now i am in python folder so the next step is now to install the site packages obviously using pip package or you can say the pip command so i try to install py mysql first of all and to do this what we can do or what we can write here is pip pip then install and then you can just take the name of the package you want to install so i am taking this py mysql and when i press enter you can see this pip is not recognized as an internal or external command so this is the problem mostly we face when we install python and we go for installing any external package so what we can do or what we can write here is we just take this python then just take this slash m then you type this pip and then you just take this install and type this py mysql now and now when you press enter might be possible it will try to install this py mysql but now again it is failed the reason is what because it is saying that the pip version which right now i am using is bit older and right now it is saying that 21.1 is available so now here we are with the solution of the question how can we upgrade our pip command so it is quite simple you can simply see here it is already written that if you want to upgrade it you have to type this python amp pip install upgrade pip so the same command i write here so you can see i am ready with my command python dash m pip install dash dash upgrade pip now just press enter so now you can see in your screen it is installed successfully so now i have upgraded my pip command so we are done so now we can install our you know package or you can say any library we want so i take this same command python dash m pip install py mysql and i am ready with this now i just press enter then see it will definitely start uploading it and now you can see because earlier when i tried to install this py mysql actually it was already loaded there but it was saying that because our pip was the older one so it was just giving the warning that you just try to upgrade it because py mysql is already uploaded so what i can do is i try to install say another package that is pandas so i write command for that is python dash m dash pip then say install and then i take this pandas then see what happens so it will start installing this pandas so now you can see in your screen my pandas library is also installed and with this numpy is also installed there so this is how i mean we can understand how can we install packages and now let's try to install one more package that is matplotlib so what i do i try to type the same command that we did with the previous one or you can say the previous packages so i am taking this python slash m then again i am taking this pip then install so overall the story is that whenever you want to install any package you should write python dash m pip install 
then the name of package so right now i am taking this to pat plot lim and one more thing when you press enter to install it might be possible it will take say one two or maybe three minutes depends upon the you know the network connectivity as well as the configuration of your system so time may vary but you can just wait till it finishes so finally you can see now this matplotlib is also installed properly so now i hope that you all would be able to understand how can we install packages or you can say any library in python and at the same time how can we you know resolve this pip based issues like if it is not recognized by your command prompt or you can say if you want to upgrade it so i am sure this video will definitely going to help you a lot so with this let's conclude this session and see you soon in the next video obviously with new chapter new concept and new solution till then keep practicing keep learning and do keep watching my channel thank you very much for watching this video and please don't forget to like share and subscribe as well bye bye and take care